Hi everybody, I'm Jen and this is the OpenSource.com Weekly Top 5. It's May 1st and so I'm bringing you the top 5 articles that we've published this past week that have been the most popular with our readers. So let's just kick it right off. At number 5 we have What is Open Source? Licensing History and More. Nicole Engard gives us her summary of a talk by Jenna Likens of Red Hat about teaching open source to others. She recently gave this talk at the South Central Consortium for Computing Sciences and Colleges. At number four, how an open standard API could revolutionize banking. Noelle Peatfield tells us how open bank data will give us the freedom to access all banks in real time and from a single view, automatically calculating the best deals and complete transparency. This could be a significant step forward for social good by giving people more control over their finances. At number three, the benefits of RADIUS over LDAP. Nick Owen wants to propose a better authentication protocol than LDAP. It's called RADIUS, and Nick tells us that it's incredibly simple to configure and supports more functionality than LDAP, but it is often not considered by developers that are creating enterprise-oriented software. However, it is supported by Cisco, Checkpoint, Netgear, Apache, PAM, every two-factor authentication vendor, every VPN provider, and more. So maybe it's time you learn more about Radius. At number two, PyCon 2015 Conference Report and Video Roundup. This year's PyCon Python Conference, called PyCon, was held in Montreal from April 8th through the 16th. That's nine days of Python goodness. So what did attendees do the whole time? Well, it's broken up into segments. The first two days were dedicated to the Tutorials and Language Summit. Then there were two days of conference talks. And finally, sprints and working sessions comprised the last three days. Pierre Yez Chibon, a Fedora web application developer, gives us a report and a video roundup of the talks in this article. Finally, at number one, an open source e-commerce friendly CMS. Like many great open source projects, Micro Weber was born out of a problem. Boris tells us about this, tells us about Micro Weber. It aims to take the complexity out of building a website, online shop, or blog through a combination of drag and drop and real-time WYSIWYG site edits. Check out this flexible CMS on our website. All right, that's it, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me for this quick top five, and hopefully I will see you again next time.